Hi there, this is uh, the multiple video showing about to install configure Moodle. So in this video, we are going to um, see how to set up a static IP address on the Moodle server, which we have deployed in the last video. So let's see how it goes. So um, we are in the home page of this, uh, the Google Cloud, Plat uh, Cloud Platform. So I I'll go to uh, Compute Engine and we so okay i have for example i have bookmarked this here so that's what i'm showing here if you're not if you are uh, not bookmarked it you need to come down and uh, go to compute engine and vm instance so let's first we see uh, what the ip address i have sent so you can see uh, this is the external ip address is 35200nx and let's go there and uh, let's see so okay so this is you see the external ip address is ephemeral and then we go back so we have a two vm instance uh, running here let's see let's go to the both one by one and let's see what ip address have been assigned so this is also get a ephemeral ip address so what we do is um, we first copy this um, uh, vm name and then we need we go back to uh, the home page and then uh, come down and then we go to VPC network and the VPC network will go to external IP addresses in this external IP addresses uh, we have an option called reserve static so you can see we uh, we can see the both IP addresses which has been assigned as of now but these all are ephemeral so what we do is we go to uh, the reserve static so we can go with with this option reserve static or we can go with this this option so it will ask you for the name and the description to um, uh, reserve the IP address or you can go with the this option so you have a two option to select with so what will it will select the first option so we'll give the VM name which uh, we watch we which we want to assign this IP address so that later on which we know that which VM is assigned with what IP address so uh, description I'll keep it blank so let it be the premium um, current project level and I want to assign the IP version 4 and this the uh, this will be the type would be regional and the reason would be the one which we have selected during the deployment ACS South ACS South one and attached to which we want uh, VM we want so remember that what VM we uh, new site 01 hyphen VM so new site VM and we need to reserve it Okay, so let's see it's uh, it's deploying. We need to wait. Okay, so that's being done. So you can see uh, this has been assigned with this um, the static IP address. So let's go back and see. Uh, whether it's assigned or not. So we'll go to the VM instance and the VM instance, we select this machine and we'll go below down. I can see whether it has been assigned. See, uh, this is assigned with the with the static IP. So you can see there's no, it's not regular ephemeral IP address. So select the view detail in the view detail section also, we can see this is assigned with the external IP addresses. So likewise, I go back and I will go to this uh, second VM. So this is my second VM. This is, uh, so I'll copy the name of this, this VM and I can come back and see this. We can see this IP address with assigned as the ephemeral IP address. So I'll go again, go back. To, uh, to the networking section, VPC network and the VPC network, we have external IP address section. We go to this section and then we select a reserve a static address. So we select here, we'll copy the VM name which we have created here. Description, I'll keep it blank because I know um, this is for, or I can just copy this name here so that it will show me in the description which uh, IP address for, for, for which particular VM 
and you can see this i'm in ac south one so it knows my choice and then i select the option to the vm which we want so in this case it's a moodle new site zero hyphen one dot vm and we'll click on the reserve so um, again it's going to take some time so let's wait for a few seconds and see how it goes uh, we can see here uh, the status the current status so it's moving that means it's working in the background okay so you can see um, this has been completed and now we can go back again back to uh, the VM instance to see uh, whether it has been assigned with a static IP address or not so we just click the recent one which we have modified and uh, let's load up okay so if we come down you can see this has been assigned with the static IP address. so remember uh, when you assi assign the static IP address you will be in the premium tire and uh, it would be slightly uh, uh, the price would be slightly higher than than the dynamic one but still this is the requirement of the vm and this is the requirement of the project which we are doing so uh, i would say uh, this is worth to have the static ip address for our server so uh, this is it for now and see you in the next video